Well, I'm going to show you how using Notebook LM Lovable 2.0 and a little hack in order to research, validate, build and market your next startup fast. I've been building and growth hacking apps for years and it can be very profitable. For example, I just sold two SaaS apps. In this video, I'm not going to be building a mock-up or something half-assed. This startup is real and it's going live at the end of the video. Let's get started. First step is research. We're going to use Notebook LM. We're going to be using the Discover Sources feature. It's quite new and it's really cool. So we'll just click on this. Prompting is super important. And what we want to find is we're going to be looking for niches with known pain points, active discussions and trending. So I've got this prompt here. Find sources on sites such as Reddit, Quora and niche forums and find the most discussed AI tools. I'm looking for niches and sub niches in this AI tools category. You can change this to, to whatever you're interested in. So I'm just going to submit this. OK, so once you've got your results, you can just import them. The next step is we want to classify the prevalent AI tools and software within this data and extract out the niches and sub niches. So I've got this prompt list the top 10 niches and sub niches. These AI tools and software would be classified as and three examples of tools in each of the niches and do not provide citations. OK, so what we've got back here is based on the sources. Here are 10 niches and sub niches for AI tools and software with examples. I'm going to select one of these niches that I'm familiar with. So we'll go with AI tools, AI writing tools and content creation. Copy this. And then we're going to take it over to our AI to break it down just a little bit further. I'm in Google AI Studio. You can use Google Pro or ChatGPT, whatever you like. OK, so we've got list 10 sub niches of AI writing tools, content creation. We'll just run this. So we've got blog posts and article generators, social media, AI scripting, which I think sounds interesting, content repurposing. I'm going to select three of these and then we're going to get actual business ideas. But what we want to do is get these business ideas validated. OK, to validate our idea, we're going to be using Botstradamus today and it's pretty cool. So let's see what it can do for us. All right. Once you've activated your session, you can get started. So find your online business opportunity. So personal information, I'm just going to put in YouTube demo here. Next question, what types of online business are you interested in? Well, I'm interested in SaaS. So I'll deselect e-commerce. We'll go for SaaS. Potential niches. I've got AI email marketing, AI script writing and AI content rewriters. So they're the ones I'm going to be going with. Skills assessment. I'm going to say that I'm probably intermediate on this stuff. Business. I'll go intermediate. Uh, marketing knowledge, content creation, SEO, community building, social media. Resources and commitment. Well, I don't want to invest any capital. Primary motivation. Yeah, let's stick with income generation and additional information. So tell us a bit more about what you're looking for in this opportunity. So I've just put in here, build a profitable SaaS in one of my preferred niches. And the SaaS will focus on solving one problem and the MVP build uh, as the MVP build. I'm just going to hit find my online business opportunities. OK, so. This is what we've got returned here. First of all, we have top say business opportunities, and it's going to give us an indication of what kind of match that is in terms of what we're trying to do and our skill set and all of those other factors. So the first one here, AI email marketing assistant, it's a high match, gives us good details here, why it's a match, startup requirements and time to first revenue, AI script writing tools for content creators. AI content rewriter for SEO, AI powered social media, post generator, and a low match here on engagement. You can have a read through these and see which one appeals to you based on your skills and the niches you put in. Then it lists out your potential barriers. Competitive niches, AI powered tools are becoming a crowded market, technical complexity, and time to revenue. So now the next two sections here, we've got recommended next steps and recommended resources. If you're new to this stuff or even a pro, it's definitely worth looking through this and getting some ideas just to bounce around and make sure you're heading on the right track. In the next section here, we've got deep research and trends analysis. Now this is more looking at is this niche or these business ideas in an area that you want to be getting involved with? And what we can see here is 
AI email marketing. Overall, it's going up, but recently the trend here is heading downwards. And this is using deep research. This is not an AI response from an LLM model. This is data from third-party services aggregated to provide a summary response on this particular business idea. And if we scroll down a bit, we get to what we really want to know is what's the final verdict. And the final verdict is AI script writing is the recommended business idea to go with. The reason for that is it has consistent strong growth in both overall and recent trends, and there's medium competition. Now we can take this one step further within this app. If we go down to the bottom here and we click on deep research opportunities, build MVP, we just click it. It's going to generate more concise MVP business idea based on this research data and most likely around that final verdict idea. Okay, so here are the actual MVP ideas to go and build. And if you get this button with build it, it means we can generate the actual specification that an AI coding tool needs to build the actual app. So let's just go with AI script generator for YouTube creators. If I click on build it, it's going to generate basically a very detailed specification that we can provide to Lovable. Okay, so here is our detailed script. And to build this MVP, all we need to do is copy this and put it into Lovable. Heading over to Lovable, and I'm just going to paste in the spec. So while Lovable is generating that app, I'm quickly going to show you another method that you can generate the specification for an MVP super quick. If you don't want to do all the other research, you just want to get the specification and build it. Enter your SAS name. I'm going to call it YouTube Scriptwriter. Now I've got some examples here, so we just click on this. I'll go with this one here. Generate a YouTube video scripts based on keywords and create a preferences. Now you can see here there's a whole bunch of defaults for your index page or homepage defaults. I'll go with the standard here. What is your target market? Maybe solopreneurs and small business. What's your unique value proposition? I'll chuck in lower cost. What are the main features that your SaaS needs? And then you've got your color palette preferences. I'll just stay with what is the default there. And we'll go with the defaults for everything else. All you have to do again is just generate project requirements document for lovable.dev. This one is generating. We'll go back and see if our other app has been built yet. And it's not quite finished. Okay, so here is our app. It's been built in about four minutes. Now to get this app up and running and completely live and operational, we need to do a few things. When this process completes, it will not be connected to a database and it won't have authentication. So they're the two things at a minimum we need to do. To get a database, you want to head over to Superbase and create an account. It's free and you can have two projects on it. You can see I've already got one here. So I've just entered in the prompt here, connect Superbase and set up email and password authentication. Okay, so we just click on connect Superbase, connect it, give the project a name, give the database a password and create a new project. And you can see here, Superbase is now connected. So we can close this. Now, when you ask it to configure the authentication, it's going to create a table to store the users. Just click on Apply Changes. Okay, so it's telling me that the authentication is fully functional. So we should be able to test this. If I go to Sign In, so it's going to ask me to create an account and create account. And the account has been created. How do I know that this is working? Well, if I go over to the database and I click in the database and I go to Tables, you can see that that data is now in the database. The authentication is now working. Now what we need to do is change this demo data into a real life app. So, so I've just entered a prompt in here, update the placeholder data and connect the OpenAI API so authenticated users can generate scripts. Now here, when it tries to set up all the backend stuff to make this work, it's going to ask you for your API key. So just click on that. Okay, so Lovable is telling us it has now implemented all the requirements to generate real scripts using our API key. Let's test it out. So I'm going to put in keyword and topic. So keyword topic AI tools for YouTube script writing. We'll go for energetic and fun, two to three minutes, generate. And the script has been generated. So there you go. If you want to have a look at the database and see what it's done, you can go back over to the database, click on table editor database and you can see here we've just got user profiles 
if we wanted to, we could add a request here and say, save the scripts against the user's profile. So I've just chucked the prompt in there, add a table to save the generated scripts, and it's going to go away and do that. Apply the changes. It's basically just the code to create the table in Superbase. Now it's just got to add the front end functionality for the save button. If I go back over to here, we should be able to see the extra table. So save scripts. There's our other table. So every user is our connection here, ID to ID. So just jumping back over into Vibe Guide, it did generate a project requirements document, and we can just copy this, give it to Lovable, and it will generate the app. When you do, you'll get something like this. This was done from Vibe Guide, and you can see it's followed all the instructions. We've got all our components on our main page. In terms of our pricing, we said it was gonna be free, so it's free. Everything is there. To get this one working, same deal, hook it to Superbase, do your authentication, and you are good to go. When you're finished, you just hit publish. You can add your own custom domain and you're all good. All right, so there's probably a couple of things you should know about Vibe Guide. One is it has two modes, Lovable and Bolt. I prefer Lovable because it just seems easier to hook up Superbase, do your authentication, etc. Using Vibe Code, you will save millions in tokens and you will get the job done so much faster. If you want to try it out, it's actually only available at this point in time via my community. If you join the community, you get free access, sign up and give it a go. When it comes to marketing, a lot of people find this really challenging. To give us a bit of a helping hand, let's go back to bostradamus.app and what you're going to find is there's this toggle. If we flick it, we can go into this other mode, which is project analysis mode. It's going to ask us a few questions again, and then it's going to give us some really good information in terms of where we're at and where we want to be. Enter in the basic information like the project name, what are you building? It's a web app, it's a SaaS, our journey so far, so we're just starting. And then it says, you know, what are your primary challenges or concerns? So we put in marketing, our competition, and product market fit. What's your experience? We'll go with intermediate. What stage? We're at pre-launch and beta testing. How do you plan to get clients? Well, if you don't know, don't answer any of them. But if you do know, just put in the ones you think you might use and which AI tools are you planning to use. So I've just put other here and put in lovable.dev. At the bottom, it says briefly describe your project and then we can continue to the analysis. So I think this is really interesting here. It says niche creator targeting. So re refocus the app itself and it's the avatar it's chasing, I guess, onto YouTube niches, whether it's tech reviews, education, etc. And it also talks about these opportunities. So I'm not going to run through every single one of them, but if you try this out, you will get some nuggets of wisdom within here to help you on your journey. If we go down to the bottom, it'll also give us some risks and pitfalls and mitigation strategies. I think this is really handy as well, and I've used it with some of my own apps. Down the bottom, it gives you your recommended next steps. So it's giving us five actionable next steps. I'm not going to run through them, except that first one I think is a really good idea. You know, if you're launching an app like this, giving free access to people in your target market to get feedback is a great idea. The whole point of this video is to not be a step-by-step -step guide. It's to understand the process, where you start, and where you're going and to try to provide the tools to make it a little bit easier and take some of the risk out.